So which teams are still vying for these global bragging rights? Let's go to Dane Placco, who found a very unique bracket up in Lincoln Square. So who's in and who's out of the World Cup? Well, if you live here in Lincoln Square, you don't have to go online or check the newspaper. All you got to do is walk by Scott Fecko's house. Well, since uh, Morocco just won in penalties, they're going to get moved over to the... Um be recentered with the rest of the flags for the uh, quarterfinals. Since 2012, FECO has been celebrating the men's and women's World Cups by tying flags of the participating countries along the fence line of his house at the corner of Leland and Levitt. As Block Club Chicago first reported, FECO is a huge international soccer fan and former high school player who wants to raise awareness of what's called the biggest tournament in all of sports. This is how it looked when the tournament first started with all 32 teams. But as each team is eliminated, FECO removes their country's flag from the fence, which means that by this afternoon, only eight flags remain, paired according to the upcoming games. I, my hope is just to bring more um, attention to it. I think Chicago is a pretty good uh, town when it comes to watching soccer. It's amazing now all the different places you can go to watch the games. What do you think about this? I love it. I walk by here every day. I get coffee and it's been really nice. I knew I knew it was it had to be World Cup related and it's just been really, uh, yeah, really powerful, I think. Fecco says he buys these flags online for about seven bucks a piece and while he already has a large stash of countries, he may need to order more depending on who gets into the Women's World Cup next year. In Lincoln Square, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.